Well, one of the longest active careers in show business has come to an end. Actress and singer Rose Marie died today at the age of 94. Entertainment reporter George Pinocchio has a look back at her long and colorful career. Well, I started when I was three. I'm 94. That's it. Rose Marie's 91 year career in showbiz began when she won a talent contest. She became an instant stage star. As she aged, baby Rosemarie became Miss Rosemarie, and then just Rosemarie. She insisted on that with her first agent. Just Rosemarie. It should be Rosemarie Guy. I said, no, no, no. Just, I'm all grown up now. It's, take the miss off, take the baby off. It's now Rosemarie. He says, okay. So I was the first one with one name. Remember that. I interviewed Rosemarie at her home just last month for the documentary on her life, Wait for Your Laugh. It would turn out to be her last on-camera interview. TV audiences came to know Rosemarie most for her work as comedy writer Sally Rogers on the classic television sitcom, The Dick Van Dyke Show. It was her big break on TV. Six hands. Reminds me of a boyfriend I once had. And it was one of the best parts I've ever had. A lot of young women come over to me lots of times and say, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't become a writer. You made me become a writer. But on the rare occasion, Rosemarie would bring out that singing voice on the Dick Van Dyke Show. Oh, and you'll be happy is my only prayer. Crying out my heart for you. Rosemarie's signature look became the bows she wore in her hair. Her late husband, trumpet player Bobby Guy, loved that she always wore colorful bows. And when he passed away, I said, I gotta do something to remember him by. It means too much to me. And I started wearing the black bow. So every time I wear the bow, I, I think of him. I think of him laughing at me. He thought I was very funny. Rosemarie saved memories of her entire career in rooms, on walls, and places all over her house. I'm very happy with the life I've had. I'm only sorry I wish I could live it over again. Wow. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. The whole thing was wonderful. George Pinocchio, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.